Okay, so the first idea I want you to think about, and I always talk about this because it's so important, is defending from the front, okay? Even though you're a forward, you have defending responsibilities. And I want you to enjoy defending because that's gonna make your life a lot easier. But the first thing I want you to think about is pressing these defenders, okay? Especially in youth soccer, mainly the defenders don't have as good skill or confidence on the ball as midfielders and forwards, okay? So if you pressure these guys, you force them to make a decision, a lot of the times they're gonna give the ball up, one of your teammates is gonna get it, they might even take too long on the ball, you can win possession way up in the attacking third, or they're gonna boot it up the ball, boot it up the field, maybe they boot it out of bounds or they kick it up and one of our center halves comes and wins it and then we get possession of the ball and we can play the right way, okay? But that will never happen if you lay off and you let them play because you're a forward and you don't defend. Okay, so whenever you have the chance, chase these guys down. And if you can work in numbers, okay, remember, I'm not just gonna run straight at him. I'm gonna try to cut off a passing angle. I'm gonna try to cut off a passing angle and hopefully our midfielders are doing the same. Okay, if it's playing here, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press, okay? Work hard up front because if you can win the ball in this area, it's much better than your team winning it back here and starting from the back. You can start from the front and you can hurt them in a two-on-two -two situation or a three-on-two. Okay, the other thing is when you have the chance to press the keeper, go for it. I can't tell you how many goals I've scored simply by chasing down the keeper and forcing him to make a clearance, okay? A lot of times if you're at him quick and he panics, maybe he's a right footer and you can force him onto his left foot He's gonna panic, he might shank it off you, you keep possession, or even better, it goes right off you into the goal. I can't tell you how many goals I've scored like that, especially in indoor, just by pressing the keeper. So think about that. Okay, the next thing I want you to think about is finding space on that, on that offside line, like right on the backs of the defenders. Okay, so let's say our player has the ball in here, Okay, focusing on this forward here. Okay, a lot of times forwards are always going short to get the ball. There's nothing wrong with going short, but I want you to mix up your play. So sometimes you go short, sometimes you go long, and when you're going long, you're really looking to find space in between the two center halves or in between the fullback and the center half. So what you wanna do is try to peel away. Now, a lot of times, defenders or everyone on the field is looking at the ball. So instead of you going close to the ball, you want to peel away from the ball and create a little space for yourself. So as he closes, boom, we can clip this ball into the space like that, or he plays a really good ball into here and you can run onto it, or even into this space here and you run onto that. If you want 12 weeks of in-depth coaching covering every area of player development, daily follow along training routines to improve your skills, fitness, and confidence, 12 weeks of professional match analysis, and access to every advanced course I've created in the past, check out the link in the description below. That, okay, but you wanna think about getting on that line on almost offside, okay? Because this is where you're really gonna get that head start. And yes, yeah, sometimes you may be offside, but if you practice it enough and you get your head up, you're watching the line, okay, making eye contact with the player on the ball, he knows you want it played. These guys are slowly coming to close you. In a lot of cases, this ball goes over the top or like I said, into space and you're off on a breakaway or at least in a really good goal scoring or crossing situation, okay? So the other thing, like I said, yes, you have to switch it up. So sometimes, Maybe these guys are tracking you really good. They're not giving you the opportunity to run in there. What are you gonna do? You're gonna try to drop in between the lines between the midfielders and the defenders. So yes, we wanna play on that high line. We wanna try to get in behind. We wanna make those runs all day. But when it's not working or you just wanna switch it up, I want you to drop into these areas here because if you can receive this pass in here and the defenders don't close you down right away, they give you a bit of space, this is very dangerous because hopefully your teammates are making forward runs like this and then we can clip these little balls in between like this behind the lines and you become that playmaker. You become like the number 10 attacking midfielder 
and then they play into here and then obviously after you play your pass you want to get in the box okay maybe even this ball is played into here you get half turned and you can play a ball wide this guy's going in for a cross you're coming back in trying to get into that type of area okay the last thing I want you to think about is being very direct with your runs so this is more in like crossing situations or balls being played into your box into their box I should say okay a lot of times let's say the winger is in a good opportunity to cross the ball a lot of the times strikers are just hanging out in here what I want you to think about is being very direct give him something to hit okay give him an option so be direct with your run either make a direct run to the near post so you can get a little flick on the goal or get a direct run peeling off to the back post so he can clip a ball and you can get a header or a volley okay but don't just stand there like if you're gonna go in here like lots of times strikers get in here and they're just standing there they're waiting for something to pop up rather than being direct rather than making something happen for themselves so if you are gonna hang back what you wanna think about is checking into here and then dropping off so you have a little bit of space and then he can play this back pass cut the ball back